This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. What we're going to do today is take a look at the Clone Stamp tool. I have uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2 open up and you can see the Clone Stamp tool is located right over here. It looks like a little stamper. You click and hold on it. You'll have two different tools in there. The Clone Stamp and the Pattern Stamp tool. We're interested in the Clone Stamp tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Um, what we're going to do is just see how we can use the clone stamp tool to remove some of the seeds flying off the flower. I'm going to get my zoom tool and I'm going to zoom right into this region. So you can see I'm um, holding down my space key now and as you hold down the space key you can uh, activate the hand tool which allows you to move this around. So I'm holding down the space key as soon as I let go of the space bar you're back to your zoom tool. So spacebar, move around, and if I had the clone stamp tool and held down my spacebar and let go, notice it just goes back to the clone stamp tool. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my zoom tool again, hold down my alt key and click a few times. So what I'm going to do is get the clone stamp tool. I'm going to get a relatively big brush and uh, how I do that is the left and right bracket keys on my keyboard. So, uh, and that's usually next to your P key. As you can see, the left bracket key makes it bigger or smaller. The right bracket key makes it bigger. I'm going to go and I'm going to sample the region that I want to cover this white spot with. So I want to sample this region. I'm hold down my Alt key. You can see when you hold down your Alt key, you get that little target symbol. So while you hold down that Alt key, you click and that targets that region and then I come over and I click and hold down your mouse and you can see two different symbols now a little circle and a plus sign well what's happening is it's taking those pixels underneath the plus sign and placing them into the little circle so I just let go of my mouse and the best way to do this is to create multiple samples so I'm done with that now I'm gonna hold on my alt key and click and let go and I come over here and click and hold down you can see that I just covered up that spot so there's a spot right there as well I'm gonna come in this region hold down my alt key and click to sample I'll come up here and click cover that up and so you can see these different scratches uh, it looks like there's some right in here hold down my alt key and sample and click and click and you normally want to get pretty close to the area you wish to cover up so I'm gonna get pretty close to this little you can see that little dot right inside there I'm gonna hold down my alt key and click and so that took the sample now if I come and click you can see the little plus sign it took those pixels from underneath the plus sign and put them inside the circle and you can you gotta be kinda careful cuz you can go uh, for example I can actually clone this flower if I was to uh, sample right in here. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and sample. And then come over here. Now pay careful attention to that plus sign. See how that plus sign and I'm using, I'm holding down my mouse and I'm actually cloning another flower right into the region because the plus sign is taking the pixels underneath the plus sign and placing them where the circle is. And so I'm I can actually clone entire objects and not just use it for fixing up a photo although that's uh, where I primarily find I'm using this tool is for touching photos up so you can see I just cloned now I ha now notice there I'm out into the green you'll see the plus signs over the green that's not really what I wanted to happen so I'm just gonna control Z to undo that entire flower so again if I hold down my alt key and click you'll see the little target click right there and I move out over here and click you just pay attention to where the plus sign is you move your mouse around and it takes everything underneath that plus sign and clones it so it's a really great tool and this tool is great for um, doing things like cleaning up wrinkles or, or maybe a blemish on someone's face like a pimple or something like that and you can just get to the area you wish to clone normally right around the area that's bad alt click come up and click and hold down your mouse and notice that uh, started cloning some of the white because I need to alt click again click and cover up the white spot 
great tool so it, all it does is samples pixels and it takes those sampled pixels and starts dumping them into the circle here so you want to pay attention to two areas the plus sign and the little circle